I'm Blanche and welcome to another episode of Feast in the Middle East and we're going to do an awesome recipe. Now you might have heard of stuffed cabbage rolls. Well, they're popular in Europe as well as the Middle East, but today we're going to do a Middle Eastern version and it's called melfouf, which literally means rolled and we're going to make it melfouf siami, which means without meat. And it's a special recipe by my lovely mom. Yeah. Mom Vera, thank you so much for joining us again. And thank she you. did her own special take on this, which I'm really excited to share with all of you. Can you tell us yeah, where well, this recipe came from, Mom? Well, I usually used to make it with meat, but one time our pastor got very sick and he needed uh, meatless dishes. And I, he loved cabbage, but unfortunately he couldn't eat the, the meat the meat version. So I, had, I came up, I improvised this uh, recipe and I came up with my own uh, version of uh, meatless uh, uh, cabbage leaves and it's it turned out really good yeah. that I did it for ourselves uh, for us in the home yeah that. and it's packed with protein and it's got so many herbs that you just won't miss the meat at all exactly. but there's a special way to handle the leaves and my mom's an expert at it so I'm really happy that she can share yeah, her expertise uh, let's show if, how you prepare the cabbage if leaves you've first. never tried uh, doing this you might think oh it's really hard but it's not hard at all because once you see somebody doing it you will realize how simple it is just don't Basically, spare your hands okay she I'm <laughs> using this I'm uh, doing that because I don't want to handle the, the, the hot water I don't want to burn myself scald okay. myself so we have a so pot of hot water we have first. a pot of hot water that's been boiling it's better if you immerse it in it so that it touches the leaves and uh, you want to kind of loose this way you loosen up the leaves it's easy for you to cut them and you want to blanch them because if you don't do that if you try to stuff the leaves while they're hard then you're going to break all the leaves you try to cut it as much as you can close to the stem and you go deeper as you peel off layers of the cabbage leaves you go deeper and deeper into the stem and, you and they just kinda, pop off. That's and so they cool. just pop off. It's so That's, easy. So, so as you see, I'm, I'm kind of going deeper and deeper. And so cool. now it's time for me to remove them because I've blanched the first few. Uh -huh. And I'm going to keep them here so they cool off. That's a great idea because you don't want to handle hot cabbage leaves. That's not fun either. So let them cool before you handle them. Yeah. The stuffing has so many killer ingredients. Let me begin. First, we're going to start with two cups of rice, we've got two cups of chopped tomato, I used up one can of garbanzo beans which is going to add filling protein and flavor, so that's about 15 ounce can, about a half a cup of chopped regular white onion, another half cup of green onion that's been chopped like scallions, then we have two cloves of minced garlic, then get this, we have a whole a whole uh, bulb of garlic that's just been uh, peeled, as you can see here. We're just using the whole thing and we're gonna nestle that between the cabbage leaves to add a lot of flavor. We're gonna go to the parsley. You could use, depending on what you like, a half a cup to a full cup of chopped parsley. We have one fourth cup of lemon juice, another fourth cup of olive oil, one teaspoon of allspice, and half a teaspoon of cumin or kamun as we call it in Arabic. And then just salt and pepper to taste. Don't use this much salt, yo. This is all we, we're just gonna use a little bit. So we're just gonna assemble it in the bowl right here. So what we're gonna do is start here with the rice. Yeah, yeah just we're just gonna just, go ingredient by ingredient. Dump all the ingredients together. Yeah, this is the easy part. Like once, you, once the cabbage roll leaves are all done, so we're gonna add the tomato to it, the chopped tomato. And this is fun, even the kids can do it. And this is what's great about melfouf in general is they can not just help you stir the ingredients for the filling, they can also help you roll it. It's a really fun activity that you could all do together. And when they help you roll it, you know what comes next. They can help you eat it because when they participate in the cooking process, they're much more apt to eat the food, especially if it's something new like this. So we've got the onions going in there. We've got garlic, okay. And we're gonna add the parsley. Just smelling all these fresh herbs, I can't wait to sink my teeth into the final product. Like my mom said, we grew up eating a lot of meat-based malfouf, uh, but this is a really clean, beautiful vegetarian version that I think you're gonna enjoy. So healthy. Now, the allspice, here we go, we just dump it. 
And as we've said in previous videos, a cumin or a kamun is great because it helps you digest the beans. So it's twofold. It provides flavor and it aids in digestion. I'm not going to add the whole garlic cloves because we're using that in the mix. And I'd say about uh, one to two teaspoons of salt. There we go. And some pepper. So now we're going to mix all the ingredients. As you can see, it's so colorful. It's got so many uh, vegetables in there. You don't even need a salad by the time you finish eating this because you have vegetables inside. And remember, it's going to be wrapped up with the cabbage on the outside. Okay. Now we're going to show you how to prepare these leaves so we could roll them. It's very easy. Each one, as you see, has a vein. Now the vein, if it's soft, you could keep it a little bit, like this one. That one's kind of soft, Yeah, right? I could keep it, this one, and this is going to be fine. But some of them, the large one, you don't want to eat them because they're going to cause, tough. you know, it's going to be tough, it's going to be hard to roll, and so we're going to we're gonna keep them. But don't throw them away. We don't discard these. Oh, you don't? These are, uh, we use them because I use them to line the pot. On the bottom? And the bottom. Perfect. In case some leaves get burned, we, the, the, the leaves won't get burned, the one we're gonna eat. These are the ones that will get burned. But usually my husband, I don't burn them and my husband likes to eat them. He loves them for extra vegetable. That's it's great. very, very healthy. I love that. My mom so. has always been so re resourceful, never throws away stuff, always finds new uses for stuff. So and this is what great. we do is we use them to line the bottom of the pot mm -hmm. and we go and we try to cut them like, as you see. I think a good rule of thumb is probably to get a medium For example, sized cabbage one. instead of a huge one so yes. the leaves aren't so big exactly. in the first place. And so you cut them in half. So and you can use Swiss chard, by the way, and they make a beautiful presentation. Swiss chard, beautiful. you could use uh, vine leaves. Um, it's it, All of these versions are very, very popular in the Middle East. Okay, so uh, now that we've got the cutting down, let's show so them how we, to roll the cabbage. Now we want to show you how to roll the cabbage. Okay. We so. take the leaves basically the leaf now it's easy to maneuver because it's it's soft mm -hmm. and I take a little bit of the filling here and I make a very very thin line like a cigar you know basically it's like you're rolling a cigar so you do so, the rice like toward the edge maybe like no this? towards no. the middle towards the middle okay. towards the middle and you try to make it not too thick because right. you don't want it to look too thin and chunky and mm -hmm. then you kind of Roll it, it, spread it like that, you know, overlapping, mm -hmm. and now you roll it. Oh, now okay. you roll it like that. Oh, see? perfect. Let me show you another one. Yeah. And now, if you see the edges kind of sticking, sticking out, out, you try to make it look a little neater because you want it to look. That's more presentable. I mean, if you're making it for your family, you don't need to do this step because yeah. I don't think they're going to trip out. When over I make that, it but... for the family, I don't do it but yeah. when you have company you want to do it you, now yeah. the trick is don't roll them too too tight otherwise the water will not get inside each leaf yeah. and give it a nice juicy um, uh, flavor you want to give the rice some room to expand and cook exactly yeah now we finished rolling up two heads of cabbage leaves that's a lot because we're expecting a lot of people if you want to make it for a small family have everything that I said and use one head of cabbage. Okay, not two, but we use two just for the purposes of today's shoot because we're going to have a lot of people over. Now, the next step is we're going to nestle all nestle the garlic. all the garlic inside. Right, inside, because this is going to add a lot of flavor. And flavor. once it cooks, the garlic ends up being really soft and almost creamy. Sweet. It's Don't forget the salt. We're going right. to add more salt for the outside. Okay, like About what, like a teaspoon? A teaspoon of salt. Okay. Okay. And you kind of eyeball Lemon it. juice now or later? And lemon juice. Okay, so we're going to squeeze just another half juice of lemon right here. Yes. Okay, and then what I, I have a very handy um, tool is... With, uh, you need to put a plate on this dish because this dish will bring the stuffing down and it will keep it from rolling, uh, from opening up. Oh, so. so it keeps the, the leaves rolled so that they don't explode on you, basically. Yes, right? and it, it puts it down. It kind of compresses it down. Okay. So we're compressing it down and... And I already it's... boiled some water. Now, in order to cook the rice, you have to fill it, what would you say, up to the very... Barely touching the, the edge. 
Okay, so like beige. on top, like how much on yeah. top? Like a half inch on top of over it? Barely, barely on top. Barely. barely. I, once okay. you start seeing the peak of the water, you stop. Okay, so let's okay, keep, keep going, going, keep until going until we see the top. Keep. Let's see. Is that good? Keep. More? I barely see the top. That's enough. Okay. Perfect. That's enough. Then Perfect. we're going to cover boil it. So now we're going to cover the pot. We've got to cover it. And boil and it. And then boil it. Once it comes to a boil, you need to lower it and let it come to a, like simmer. A, like a simmer. One hour. One whole hour. One hour. Yeah, one okay. hour. And you need to keep checking on it because sometimes it dries out quickly. So I've had that happen. Luckily, we put those veins at the bottom in case it, it, it boils off quickly. So since now. we're impatient, we wanted to eat some now and share some with you. So why don't we bring over some this ready cooked This has been done food. already. I did it this morning. Okay, and we have and a nice platter. There's a way of serving it. Now okay. I hope it, it works for uh. me. But you, uh. what you do, usually when it's hot, you don't want to handle it. You want to put a mitten or something on the top and a mitten on the bottom. And my husband usually is the one who does it at home because it's sometimes I have a big huge wrong. pot. <laughs> but for now, this has been sitting here for a few minutes, so it has cooled off a little bit. And Boom. that's what you do. And now what you do is you Whoa. open it up like that. Nice. And that's what it's you like have. It's like a malfouf cake. That's a melt food cake, see? Now to make it with meat, you just follow our recipe from the stuffed grape leaves. And instead of rolling it in grape leaves, you just roll it in the cabbage leaves. Exactly. So this is the one with meat for the carn carnivores out there that like it with meat. So we'll just sample, you know, we'll just put a sample of one with meat and with, without. And let's say you still have more stuffing and you got grape vines in your backyard. Uh, you could also put the vegetarian mixture inside the grape leaves, just as my mom and has done here. And this will do a delicious hors d'oeuvres for the holidays. So let's give, it, let's give it a try here. Let's see how it came out. I used to, this was my favorite growing up. This is my favorite. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. Let me try it's like the one. It's like so lemony and herbs, and you could even splash more lemon juice on it. I used to if do you that want. too. If you if want. If you like really tangy lemony flavor. Yeah. I can't tell you how grateful I am for all of your emails and your feedback. It really keeps me going. I do this for you because you guys inspire me. Some of your emails, I honestly, some of them are so sweet, I end up like crying. <laughs> After reading I them. hope you enjoy this. And, and, and I know that you wanted my mom to come back for these videos. A lot of you uh, really appreciate her wisdom as much as I do. So thank you again. And please follow me on social media. There's always tips that I share on a day-to-day -day basis that I can't cram into these videos. So you could follow me on Instagram at Blanche Media. You could follow me on Facebook at Blanche's Feast in the Middle East. And of course, my website, which is feastinthemiddleeast.com. And I'll be sure to put more recipes and measurements on that because I'm getting a lot of requests. Uh, I am going to have a cookbook in the works, but in the meantime, just go to my blogs and, and join me on social media for all the fun and action. Until next time, Sahtan, thanks for joining okay. us. And I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as we do. We have to